Hollywood actor Rupert Everett, McFly superstar Danny Jones, actress Catherine Tilsley, and pop star and actor Martin Kemp. They are Paul O'Grady's Saturday Night lineup. Please welcome your host, Paul O'Grady. down folks thank you i must yes. ask you danny before we start have you kept your fire eating up fire eating oh yeah we did that last time on the show didn't we that's right i taught them to fight i've known mcfly since they were embryos yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. To, to be honest that was quite scary you know well fire eating. yeah yeah quite, it's quite intimidating putting fire in Fire in your mouth, like, full on, you know. That was easy when you've had a drink. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> well, good evening and welcome to my Saturday night lineup. <laughs> Tonight, my four guests will arrange themselves in a lineup from best to worst in a variety of very revealing categories. And to win valuable points, all they need to do is position themselves in the lineup in the same place that you, the British public, I've already put them in. Now, if the question was this, right, who would you most want by your side in a fight? You'd probably say Danny, you know, because he's young and he's strong and he's muscle-bound and he's got tattoos. <laughs> but personally, I put Catherine here because I had the benefit of going shopping with her once on a Black Friday and curries were down to the last flat-screen telly. I've <laughs> never seen her move so fast. Do you remember that belly at Ed Bussett? Oh, no, get over it. Right, are you ready for your first question? Let's take a look at what question one is. Who would be the most fun on a big, nice house? Definitely not me. Oh, mate. I'm no, in bed now for ten. No. Yeah, same. Mm. I'm... <laughs> I think it's down to Danny. I think so. I mean, yeah, but... I'm being on, honest here, the older I'm getting, you know... Oh, the older I'm getting. <laughs> Get me a... How old are you? 35. Oh, <laughs> please. <laughs> That dripping sound you can hear is my heart bleeding 35. <laughs> hey, I've been partying with you, my and you God. stayed up later than me. No, no, <laughs> Danny, you're looking at the burnt-out wreck of a once-glorious disco scene. Third <laughs> <laughs> stage of behind me. I'm a pensioner now. <laughs> Rupert, now you've had some big nights. Do you remember the first time we met? It was 40 years ago. <laughs> but those are the days. I used to go out a lot then. But I now, I don't think I'd be very good. I mean, I'm in bed by half past eight, quarter to nine. Oh, it's not awful. What's happened to us? I'm exactly the same. <laughs> but are you, are People you? call me Nana Cat. <laughs> <laughs> but you're only a baby cat. Oh, do you know what? I love getting up early and seizing the day. I've turned into my mother. What are you like when you've had a drink? Do you make a show of yourself? <laughs> I, I remember going to... It was an ITV party. And I was stood with a bunch of big wigs. They came around with um, little snacks, and I was like, "Can I get some more of the areola, please?" <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, Sorry, what now, girl? I was like, "The areola, the garlic dip." <laughs> <laughs> and the waitress was like, "No, that's the bit around your nipple." <laughs> <laughs> I was in Africa filming and there was an eminent scientist talking to me and I'd had a few drinks and he said to me in conversation, what do you think of Sierra Leone? And I said, she's got a lovely voice. But he meant Celine Dion. And he like, looked at me completely <laughs> 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 How about you now, Martin? What are you like for a nice house? My favourite <laughs> days were back in the 80s. Yeah. There he is. Yeah, there we go. Bring it. Martin. This picture looks like you're in the chorus of a regional touring production of Aladdin. Yes. <laughs> what the hell have you got on there? Did you make these yourselves? No, but I'll tell you something, my mum made it. <laughs> my mum made it the day before. Look at you there. <laughs> the <laughs> Olivia bum fluff on your chin. Oh, my God. Yeah. We were proper partiers in those days. I should you know, so. I remember we were in Germany, and this is kind of like... The early days of when you used to, the key cards were first invented in hotel rooms. Oh, that was yeah. bloody And things. you have to touch the outside, <laughs> right? So me and the boys been out, four o'clock in the morning, get, I'll get back to the hotel room, get my key card out, touch the key card, go into the room. Now, the first thing you want to do, I wanted to go to the toilet. So I walk straight into the bathroom, the ensuite bathroom. Walk in, 
pulled my trousers down, sitting there, did my business, and all of a sudden I'm looking round and I can see somebody else's perfume. <laughs> and somebody else's toiletries. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then I can hear... <laughs> I'm in somebody I else's it. room. I love it. It was an absolute nightmare. So what did I do, right? Flush and run. It's the only way I could do it. I did that in Scotland, went in the wrong hotel room and got in bed with somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Some fella. I stayed anyway. <laughs> so none of us are going to be any fun on a no. night out. No. Oh, I'm so I mean, disappointed, don't you think? It's Danny. It's got to be Danny. Danny. Well, it's got to yeah. be you. Come on. Danny, it has. Come on, it's got to be you. I mean, I've had, <laughs> I've had good experiences and bad experiences, but I feel like I always got in trouble for some reason. I oh, always yeah. got in trouble. They yeah. were good nights when we went to boxing. Oh, wasn't they? brilliant. I got so drunk on whiskey, I made a show of myself. I was screaming, Kill him! <laughs> <laughs> Just like, sit down and shut up. The <laughs> problem is, is well, this is what happened. We went to, the, went to the UFC. We got really drunk, ended up thinking we were UFC fighters, obviously. I didn't realise I was biting him a bit too hard. I was, oh. bit, I was biting him because he wouldn't let go of my neck. So this police officer come over and try to arrest us, and we've gone, no, 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 we're all right, we're all right. We're Straight playing. back into the biting. <laughs> Straight back in. I suppose partying for me, there's, there's been a few situations where it, it either gets out of hand, I like to get half naked when I have too much to drink. <laughs> so I try and keep it at home, really, you know, you know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, so for the first time tonight, let's go over to the lineup. Are we ready? Okay. okay. Why do they put stairs on these sets? They're like a death trap. Right, come on, line yourself. You've got to be number two. You reckon? Four. What do you reckon? Oh. 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 Honestly, I am so dull. <laughs> no, but you're younger than me. When you do go I have out, to think I bet of... right. you go okay. for it. Back in yeah. the... Yeah, back in the... OK. No? Back, back the other way. Back okay, the other way. interesting. Well, they voted there, no, yeah. OK. All right. Have you ever been on the police line-up, for real? I have. Have you? Yeah. yeah. Well, they used to say, sir, if you want to go on the line up, we'll give you the tenner. Honestly. I got picked twice for armed bloody robbery. <laughs> <laughs> I was only 18. Anyway, should we find out what the great British public thought? <laughs> they thought Martin would be the one. Mm. And then wow. you, Rupert, a bit of a hellraiser, you oh. see. They've read your books, they all know what you like. <laughs> <laughs> Nil point. Nil point. Oh, no. Nil point. No. Right then, back to your seats and we'll have another go. Off your pot. <laughs> right then, time for your next question. And this one is a little different because it comes from none other than Sir Mo Farah himself. Hi, Paul. Sir Mo Farah here. Now I stopped at nothing to win my four Olympic gold medals. I train hard, ate right, dedicate myself to sports 24 7. So, my question is for the lineup who's most likely to win the Olympic gold? Not bronze, not silver, but gold. No, oh, not me. Ooh. Ooh. He sounded a bit out of breath there, Mo, didn't he? <laughs> Danny. Yes. Now, you were good at football, weren't you? In your youth, which was last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I like football a lot. Yeah, yeah, it was always between music and football for me. And could you have gone professional with football? Well, I had an, I had an opportunity. My mum, my mum said to me, how many of your mates play footy and how many of your mates play guitar? I said, I can only afford one. So I chose guitar. And uh, I think, you know, it was probably the right decision, did. cos, uh... Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think it was, right? Yeah, of course you are. <laughs> You'd be sat on the bench now for tram your overs, wouldn't you? Waiting for a kick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Catherine, you oh. were handy with the javelin, weren't you? <laughs> javelin? No. Yeah. Wow. You can have so, to the javelin really? in a day. Really? Yeah. yeah. I, was, I was quite weighty when I was young. And my dad had visions of me going down that road or being, you know, like Fatima Whitbread. What was that thing that she did? Was that javelin? Shop put. Shop put. Shop put. So he fashioned um, a javelin out of a clothing peg that you prop the washing up with. <laughs> <laughs> I did knock over my mum's statue of the Virgin Mary in the garden, <laughs> which that didn't go down too well. 
so I wouldn't say that I was capable of a gold medal in the Olympics. <laughs> Rupus, how are you with sporting? Um, I, I'm not at all sporty, uh, not at all. When I was young, I was so thin, I grew a foot between the age of 15 and 17. And oh. I, I was like five foot one inch when I was 15. And by the time I was 18, I was six foot four. And I was really, really thin. And I hated sports. And then I found these two um, guys in St. John's Wood who made false bottoms and false legs and false shoulders and pecs. Artificial limbs. Is this no, 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 muscles. So you put really? them on, uh, uh, over your body, under your clothes. It was brilliant, so I just wore those. I could do it with the said going to the gym, wouldn't I? Yeah, you get great, you can still get, now you can get great false bums. Really? Yeah. <laughs> this is fascinating. We're, we're... Yeah. <laughs> Martin, how about you with the sports? Uh, yeah, well, when I was younger, I was into football the same as Danny, yeah. you know, and... Uh, my, I hate football. My, oh, my, you too. do? I loathe and detest it. <laughs> me too. <laughs> do you know what else I hate? These pundits who come on after the match and uh. yak for about three hours. Oh! oh. 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 God bless. <laughs> And so I know what you mean about the pundits afterwards. Oh. I love the punditry before the game. But and then after. the game happens, and then I just walk away from it after that. You know, it's a bit like foreplay, isn't it? You know? <laughs> well, it is. It's no good trying it afterwards. It just doesn't work. <laughs> foreplay for me was always hold me chips, it'll only be five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> So then, come on, out of all of you, who do you think's going to get the gold? Kath, who do you think out of the three lads? I, I can't... I, I, I'm leaning towards Danny again. Oh, yeah? It's well, definitely not going to be me. The it could more... be because you scored a direct hit with the Virgin Mary. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I did. I mean, that's... Put your mother in hospital. I did. However, I did... I once took up golf and, and my ear got chopped off. How did you lose your ear playing golf? I was stood behind my best friend. And they go that way, don't they? And I'm stood behind him having the best time, forgetting that it's going to come back <gasps> this way. Oh, wow. So he chopped my ear off. I had to have four hours of plastic surgery to put it back on. Is that a real ear, then? It's real. Oh. They, they, they sewed it back on. It was, it was flopping around everywhere. Oh. And then my best friend Peter was in such a panic, he started with an asthma attack. I mean, we can laugh now. <laughs> We can, my I like thought this. golf was quite a gentle game, really. Yeah. It's, it's every time now, if I'm walking past a golf course, my husband loves golf, if I hear that swooshing noise, I'm like... You grab your ear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Keep away from calf. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rupert, who do you reckon out of this loss? I think I agree with you. I think it's going to be one of you two, but I still think, personally, I think you for scoring a direct hit with the Virgin Mary in your jam. Yeah. So, <laughs> we're going to find out who's going to win the Olympic gold when Samo hands out the medals in a couple of ticks. So don't go anywhere. See you after the break. <laughs> Thank you very much and welcome back to my Saturday night lineup where I'm joined by Rupert Everett, Danny Jones, Catherine Tilsley and Martin Kemp. And just before the break, Samo asked this question. Who would be the most likely to win an Olympic gold medal? If it were in javelin, you'd be winning a gold medal. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, it's not. I think I'm right down there somewhere. Well, definitely not last. And you're not sporty at all, you No, say, no, right? not at all. I must be the last one, I'm sure. How about you, Danny? Watch it out. You're going to be here again. Well, no, I reckon, yeah. I reckon you could be up there as well, though. No, I reckon you're the front. Do you really, yeah, though? Yeah, I do, really. Just because yeah. it... Yeah. I can't be there. I got it wrong last time. OK, before I reveal the full line-up, Samo, who's going to get the goals? My answer is... It's a tough one. I'm going to pick Danny. I'm going to stick my neck yeah. out and pick Danny. Yeah. Uh, it's a hard one for the bronze and silver, but you've got to go the extra mile and push. Come on, Danny. Let's go for the gold. Well, there you go, Danny. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look at where Samo placed the rest of you. Oh. oh. Nearly. Mm. Nearly. Oh. So He's bad. obviously heard about you, Kath, in the yeah. javelin. This yeah. is it. He yeah. felt very threatened by it. <laughs> oh. Rupert, you got Rupert, you, you right. right. I was right. Yeah. So, yeah, Rupert's got a point and Danny's got a point. Yeah, there you go. Back to your seat for another question, please. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> All right, then. 
Can you show us the next question, please? Who would you most like to swap places with for a day? OK, so what do you think? Um... Oh. I... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I, I think? I think Coronation Street is such a huge hit. So many people would yeah. want to be on that show yeah. and be part of that whole history. I think Catherine... That's true. I agree, actually. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah. Everyone wants to get there. Yeah. The Rovers return. That's true. Tell me, Coddy fans can't be that strange, can they? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Um, are they? <laughs> I would say 90% are just wonderful and lovely. There are a small minority that have <laughs> <laughs> an obsession with my feet. Really? <laughs> and apparently that's a thing. So the guy that runs my website and sometimes does bits of socials for me is like, Kath, I'm just letting you know that your feet are really popular. You might want to think about, like, launching some wow. flip-flops or something. <laughs> <laughs> but they're on the wrong kind of sites, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So is it the foot fetish side? Yeah, that kind of oh thing. I mean, whatever happened to a good pair of boobs? I know. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> or a nice bum. <laughs> They've got nice them. feet. No, they them. are I lovely feet, them. I can see. Why? Aren't they? Thank no. you. <laughs> yeah, I've got a fan here. He's Thrill. Got, uh, <laughs> your feet. Yeah. Thank you. Isn't it funny what pit? Imagine licking a foot. Shrimping. <laughs> eh? Shrimping. Is that what it's called? Yeah. It's shrimping. called shrimping. 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 Like a prawn. Yeah. <laughs> it? Really? Yeah, did you know that? No! <laughs> Somebody says, can I let you forced to be out the door? <laughs> You're joking, aren't you? I've got a veruca that sticks me to the floor for ten minutes. <laughs> 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 Martin, who would you swap places with for the day? Oh, out of us. All Not three me. of them. Absolutely. Really? Yeah, because you two guys, because you, you're both acting constantly, that I would love to do. But Danny, because you're still in a band, and I would love to be, still be doing that. Absolutely. Would you you like can join to... our band, mate, anytime. Yeah. Would you like to come along to <laughs> You wouldn't want to swap places with me. You wouldn't want my life, really. Oh, I would. You wouldn't, Rupert. I've been mounted by Alsatians. <laughs> and <laughs> The boons throw poo at me. It's been dripping off me glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I've been sexually assaulted by a golden retriever. <laughs> which I won't go into, but it took me ages to get it out of my suit, put it that way. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to swap with you, Paul. You wouldn't. I would. <laughs> Believe you, me, you wouldn't. Now, what about you, Danny? I think Catherine. It's the feet, isn't it? It's yeah, the feet. It's the feet. <laughs> You've got us yeah. all going now. It's, yeah, it's just the feet. It's the feet. <laughs> Cathy, who would you like to change places with? For me, I think it would be Rupert because of, I mean, the, the level of work and the people you've worked with and uh, the projects you've done. Yes, yeah, so for me... Ooh. Rupert, what? now listen, mm. you're very well known right all around the world. You are. You've worked with all sorts, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Madonna. Mm -hmm. I worked with Michelle Pfeiffer once. I worked with Sharon Stone once. I work with uh, Julia Roberts at once. Um, so what do you do when people come up to you in the street and recognise you? They go, <gasps> what do you... Well, when I was younger, I used to get confused uh, for Hugh Grant. And, um, and <laughs> I remember once I was in an airport and this kind of drunk English tourist came up to me and said, I know who you are. I said, thinking he was going to say Rupert, and I said, oh, yes. And he said, um, you know, you were all right in um, Four Weddings and a Funeral. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Uh, but, you know, once you got to Love Actually, what, was, what about all this stuttering? <laughs> and I went, yeah. And, um, and he said, what, what do you think your problem is? And I said, I've got a very small cock. <laughs> uh, and he went, <clears throat> And he said, OK, just sign this for me. So I said, uh, to Barry, drop dead, love Hugh Grant. <laughs> <laughs> does Hugh Grant know this? Yeah, he does. No, he does now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. So that's what you lot think. We all know who you'd like to swap places with. But who would the great British public want to swap lives with? What do you think? <laughs> right, come on. Time to get on your little spot. Right, sort yourselves out. Go on, who do you well, think? No, I think you're up there. I think you're up there. I, I, I think, think, Kath, I think I you're up there. I think I'm down Definitely. there. Definitely. Oh, to be. Definitely. It's for, what, it's for one day, isn't it? Yeah. For one day, isn't it? Yeah. For one day only. Yeah. For one day only. Yeah. 
But uh, one day only. Oh, no, what is it? Eh? I think it's the wrong way around, Tony. I think this is right, but I feel yeah. like I should be more down there because. No! Ah! no. Oh. But everybody wants to be in a band and. Yeah, but ah! it's, it's only for one day and we might yeah. have a gig yeah. that day. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's find out who's in the right place. Oh. I knew I'd be there. Oh, you see? Yeah. You were right. Oh, wow. Catherine, it's a point. You've won a point, yes. So, one point for Catherine. You got that right, love. Yeah, so come on, back over to your seat, please. <laughs> All right, then, are you ready for your next question? Yeah. OK. Yes. Reveal the question, please. Thank you very much. Who would be the most likely to post something online that they later regret it? <laughs> <laughs> Danny! Danny! What? Has your phone ever got you into trouble? Well... <laughs> You've never sent pictures of your bits, have you, to strangers? No, but you know what happened? I no, didn't... it wasn't me. No! <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, actually, yeah, I just remember something. I, I, I got away with it, though. I was... I, I had a, a... I lost tattoo roulette on my foot. And tattoo roulette's a game we play where, you know, you, you put, we put names in a hat and it'd be like, um, no, 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 yes, or whatever. And, yeah. and the two people that got the yeses would go to the tattoo parlour, play Papers of Stone, whilst the others decided what the tattoo was. Yeah. Anyway, I ended up losing tattoo roulette. So I got the tattoo later on, you know, got back to my hotel room and I thought, I'll just, I'll take a picture, you know, <laughs> like this. <laughs> 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 I'll take a picture and I'll say, oh, God, I lost that two roulette. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to post it, but my little dongle were there, wasn't it? <laughs> Catherine, have you ever done anything naughty on the phone? Have you ever sent anybody, you know, when you're in a blind rage and you send them an email that's steaming with hatred and venom? I have. <laughs> <laughs> Not so much venom. I remember getting in trouble once. Um, I'm a Celebrity was on, and it was sponsored by a certain supermarket, let's say, and they ran the adverts in between, and one of the adverts were for these, like, prawn lollipops, <laughs> and they looked. <laughs> and I went on Twitter and I said, if that lollipop has ever seen a prawn in its life, I'll eat my own legs. Swiftly <laughs> followed by a call from ITV press office. <laughs> Do you know how much money they give us? <laughs> Are they the sponsors? They were the sponsors oh, for I'm a Celebrity. Oh, no. So, yeah, I had my wrist slapped <laughs> for that. <laughs> How about Zooms? Have you ever had any trouble on a Zoom? Oh, yeah. Yeah? I've, I've got a little boy. I was on a Zoom with um, Arlene Phillips not long ago, and all you could hear mid-Zoom was, i finished, Mummy, can you wipe my bum? <laughs> 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 have you ever done anything online, Martin, you've regretted? Yeah, absolutely. Have Mine you... goes back a good few years, though, to when the internet and text first came out. And a friend of mine's dad had just passed away, right? So I thought, I'd write him a nice letter, you know. And so he wrote this kind of really sympathetic letter and I said, I can do anything for you. If I can do anything for you, I will, you know, and how sad it is. And then I got to the end of the letter and I wrote, LOL, Martin. <laughs> and I thought it was lots of laughs. Oh, me too. Oh. <laughs> but it wasn't, it was laugh out loud. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. And what happened? Did you, did you explain to them? Yeah, I explained to him. But listen, we still laugh about you today. Yeah. You know, you know I was at the BAFTAs and um, the, the, the food was shocking, it always is. <laughs> and so I got a text off a friend of mine who said, What are you having for dinner? So I texted under the table, it was duck. But it didn't come out as duck. <laughs> <laughs> came out as dick. <laughs> oh, no. But it's easy done, is it? You must... Rupert, do you know what I'd love to know? If a critic ever has a go at you, have you had a go back? I can't imagine you to take it lying down. I did once. Um, I was doing a matinee in the theatre, and in the, when you go into the show in the evening, they give you your mail, and yeah. it's uh, mostly, you know, people hopefully writing to say how much they enjoy the yeah. show. And I had this letter from this couple who said... Um, we really didn't like the show. We couldn't hear a word you said. You go it to the British public to speak up 
and say your lines properly and not mumble. And I was hung over that, that day and I was really furious. And I said, I wrote a letter back straight away. I said, dear Loren and Peter, I'm so sorry you didn't enjoy uh, the performance uh, very much the other night. Please accept my heartfelt apologies. And then I cut off my pubic hair and I celebrated it <laughs> to the other side of the record. And, I said, and these few pubic hairs really? in the hope that they, uh, <laughs> they make you feel a little bit better. And, uh, and then I put it in an envelope and sent it. <laughs> In just a moment, we're going to be finding out who you think is most likely to put their foot in their mouth. So we'll see you shortly. <laughs> Thank you very much, and welcome back to my Saturday night lineup. Now, before the break, we asked. Who would be most likely to post something online that they later regret it? So it's time to place yourselves now in the order that you think the great British public right. have decided. So, I Catherine, are you, are you taking the... Uh... It is a bit out of innocence, though. Yeah. Yeah. Now, are we going... I don't... Do you use it a lot? Yeah, I use it, but... Do, do you rant a lot? No. Trouble. But I think, I think they'll pick you because yeah. they're always in trouble. No, yeah. they don't. Yeah, they do. Trust me, they do. No, 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 that's it. They love him! No. They love him! He's there! So, I'm telling you. Should we have a look? Let's see if you're right. Oh, the no. public oh, says. No. Oh. Oh. oh! Oh no. Me? Well, you're number one. Oh my word. Nobody's Completely in the right wrong. position. Look at that. Everyone's yeah. wrong. Danny, they thought it'd be you. They must really think you're a vicious little piece of work. Thanks, guys. So, what's the overall score? So, let me have a look. One, one, one. Got one. So, Rupert's Ooh. one. You're one, Danny. You haven't got any okay, more so nothing. far. <laughs> but there's still everything to play for because it's time now for the quick fire round. And you've got 10 seconds to decide your place in the lineup. So, are you ready? Oof. All right, then. Here's your first question. Who is the cleverest? Quick. Time's up. Let's see what order the British public has placed you in. Let's have a look. Who's the cleverest? Question number two. Quick, let's have it, please. OK. Who is the most down to earth? Let's have a look. Come on, quick, 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 quick. Okay, that's it. Let's go here. Let's have a look. Time's up. Let's see now the results. Let's have a look. Who is the most down to earth? Oh, oh, no. oh Rupert, you're not down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Oh, no. Anyone get that right? <laughs> no, nobody got a line there. Right, okay. okay. Third question, please. I'm winning. Who is the most famous? Super. I know. <laughs> Let's see what order the British public have placed you in. Who's the most famous? We just don't push you. Oh. Oh, no. We've got two points. We've not. No, we're not right. right. We're not again. right. No, that's all. Right. Anyway, who's the most fashionable? Let's have a look. Catherine, Catherine. Come on. Come on. No. You're, you're smart. You are. You're smart. No, you're smart. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 you're no, no. Let's see, right, OK, smart, let's yeah. see where really you were placed smart. by the public. Ah! Oh, I've won the show! You have? I've you won. Have, you have, not yet, no, we're not, we're not out the woods, yes. Oh, oh no. We've Nearly. Got one more. Finally, there's one more. Here's your last question, OK? And your ten seconds start now. <laughs> Who is the richest? Who's the richest? <laughs> Let's see what order the British public have placed you in. Who is the richest? Yes, yeah, oh, you see. Oh, so yeah. close. Okay. So, Cathy, you're in the right spot. Danny, yeah. you're in the right spot. Yeah. Just you two aren't. So, that was the last lineup of the evening. Somebody else is going to toss up the scores. I've won. I, I, do you think you have you? Yeah. Oh, Ruby, yeah. you're going to take home a lovely prize. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look, please, at the final scores. Yeah. So. Oh, no! Four for Kendrick. Three for Danny. 
Two for Martin and three for you, Lucas. So, well done. That means, Catherine, you are this evening's winner. Well done. Would you like? I don't know what the gnome's doing with the pig, but <laughs> it's quite an interesting piece of artwork, wouldn't you say? <laughs> Would you like to swap it for something else? I weirdly love it. We've got a lovely statue of the Virgin Mary to give to your mother. <laughs> now, our Janet's going to love this. Oh, is she? Our Janet, we, yes. Well, I'm going to come Because after the that. last one, I got excommunicated, didn't I, sir? Especially for you. Congratulations. <laughs> I like that. Anyway, that's your lot for this evening, please. Put your hands together for tonight's Saturday night lineup. Let's hear it for the lovely Rupert. Come on. <laughs> for Martin Kev, come on, let's hear it for Martin. For Catherine there on the end, our winner. And for Danny. And of course, to you as well for joining in this debacle. I'm bothering to watch, and I'll see you all soon. Look after yourselves, yeah? Good on, everyone. Thank you.